How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Voodoo15 here. And I had a question the other day about uh, slinging bombs or, or throwing them, uh, however you want to talk about it. And essentially, the practice is that you don't actually dive all the way into the target and you don't level bomb over the target. You essentially throw the bomb that way by pulling back hard on the stick or, or coming around and say a hard right or left hand turn or even a slight dive and, and then pitching upward. So I'm in here in the training arena and what you can do is you can come right down here to the dive bombing area and, uh, and you'll notice up here you've got uh, these blue squares. Anyway, if you, from any of these altitudes, 5k, 10k, or 20k, you can, you can take off out of the northeast and it'll spawn you. It's an air start out here. But let me show you, I've, I've just thrown a couple bombs and it didn't take me but a minute to get it and I have an indicator, the bomb indicator, where it's actually going to land. And let me show you what I've kind of found here. So first off, I want to find the target. So I'm going to aim for that cluster of buildings. I'm, I'm not wanting to lower my gear, actually. That's the wrong button. Um, I'm going to aim for the cluster of buildings in the center. Right around this area here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm kind of in a dive bomb position right here. And let me turn back this direction. Is essentially is practice getting used to whatever aircraft I'm wanting to throw bombs from with this bomb indicator. Now you want something that can withstand a dive, something fairly fast, because if you get moving really fast waiting to sling the bomb, then there's a good chance you might whip your, uh, whip your, whip your wings off. You might rip your wings off as you're pulling. So you want to be careful of that when you start to do it. Now this little TU-2 I dove it the other day from that Seahawk, and this little thing going to hold together. So I see my targets, that cluster building's on the, on the concrete pad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here and the easiest way to found it, I'm, I'm watching my little indicator and I want to get a dive going here. Now the indicator says it's going to land right there but what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the nose down I'm going to pull back hard on the stick and as it crosses over the point I'm going to let the bomb go. Now I think I let it go late but you're going to see how far it's, it's going to actually go here. I think it's going to hit over there at that crossroads. I shot far but you can see how far I threw it. Now, you do have to fly in a fairly straight line. Now, you can either come straight in at the target, make a kind of a sweeping pass, and sling it from afar. Because as you notice, I didn't have to dive all the way to the target. I actually slung it further than I wanted to go because I was going too fast. So this is kind of a, you, you kind of have to figure out where the airplane really wants to do it at. You can also try, what I'll show you is where you come in and you make a turn, either to the left or to the right. Uh, this will be personal preference or terrain based or it'll be based on what's affecting you at that moment. So we'll get a little speed going. Not so much that you can't control the aircraft. You want to get in close enough that you can actually uh, make your turn. And so I'm going to go ahead and, and drop the nose a little bit here. And I'm going to kind of pitch up and out and away. I don't think I'm going fast enough to be honest with you. I'm going to give it a try though. And I've just made a turn. Now I'm looking at the indicator right now because I'm actually wanting to see. Now I think it's going to go far. It's going to actually think between those gun emplacements over the, the center pad. Way far. You see how much that my actual pull that I had actually affected that bomb a lot more than the indicator let me know it was going to be. So let's try something like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a kind of a low roll like this. I'm actually drop a little bit early. Now, the indicator tells me it should be to the left, but I think it's going to hit between those two sets of buildings. I didn't make it as far. See, I didn't pull it's not enough speed, or I didn't pull hard enough. So let's try this again. So now let me show you what I've done here. Uh, you can come to any of these dive bombing fields, and let me zoom out a little bit. Uh, you just come in here to the training arena, and you're going to spawn in at uh, A4 here, out near the uh, the lake. And so you can just come right up here, and it's the dive bombing and level bombing area. Just click on any one of these fields. And as you can see, this is ground level, 5K, 10K, 20K. We're probably going to be doing this stuff from 5 or 10K. Uh, where I see it a lot of times is uh, 234s do it 
really good bomber pilots with 234s actually can come in there and just make this big wide arcing turn and sling those bombs forever away and I've seen B-26s do it as well and some A-20s if they're really on top of their stuff they can kind of pitch up in an upward right hand uh, pull and and toss one and I've been hit by bombs like that a long time ago before these the warbles and the flax got so bad so let's uh in here and what you want to do is you want to find something that's got a bunch of bombs on it now not little bitty bombs you want to have something that's actually got some weight and some punch to it. So 250s is what I'm throwing right here. And you want to have some real fuel. You want to have 50%, uh, you know, whatever you would actually be hauling in that kind of instance. And you want to get an airplane that you would be doing it with, uh, P-47. Obviously, our control characteristics for uh, this Tu-2 are not the greatest in the world. So we're going to go to 500 pounders. We'll tote three 500 pounders and 50% gas. Just say that's what you're going to run into. And... Uh, Anyway, and you just hit northeast on the airfield, and you'll spawn. So all you got to do is is just put your uh, throttle full forward, gear will come up, and and you'll be going. You're good to go. All right, so let's. Uh, there's our target. And it should be a little bit easier because I can pull harder with this P47. I'm gonna throw my single bomb first. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of throw in a dive here. And then I'm wanting to drag this sight across my target. And obviously this is trial and error. So as I come across here, I'm going to push down. I'm going to drag this sight across the target. And I'm going to let it go about where I think. I think it's going to land way short. It wasn't that short though. That was actually pretty close. You can see I was I had quite a bit of speed. I didn't, I'm not actually sure how fast I was going. I'll have to go back and look. And and a lot of pull. And you can see how far it threw that bomb out there. Now obviously I have more pull that I can get out of this aircraft than I did with the Tu-2. So that's something that you have to take into account if you're going to do it with say a medium bomber or uh, say a Mosquito or something like that. So you have to watch out as you start to do that. So we're going to try to throw one more in a in a uh, vertical position and then we'll try a horizontal toss here so I'm gonna come in here I'm aiming for the center buildings again I'm gonna dive 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 till I feel comfortable and then I'm gonna pull back hard on the stick and I let both go at the same time because I'm a badass not really I'm a dummy and I didn't know I had salvo too on there I think they're gonna land short again they're at the corner of the buildings Wow, I thought that they would be landing there just off my the tip of my right wing right now. But in fact, they actually made it all the way out of here. You can see there's a lot of business to that. Um, and obviously, I need a lot of work on it. But let's try it one more go. We'll go one more again. And walk you back through it again. I got a little practice here with the P-47. Now, with, with all things that you're practicing to do, it's type-specific. You have to figure out what your airplane does. Me, personally, I'm not going to do, be doing it off of a Corsair. Uh, a P-47 might be where I want to do it. And it would probably be a really nasty little Warble Winds or something like that. Austin Winds. Something that I don't want to get any closer than I absolutely have to. Or uh, if I'm trying to sling my bombs at a town just before I attack a target. You know, I'm wanting to jet them, but I'm not close enough to get them there. And I want to just pitch up real hard and get rid of them. So let's try it something like that now that I'm thinking about it. So we're coming in here to attack uh, this base and I'm looking, I'm gonna line up for a bomb run. All of a sudden, oh my god, there's something after me. Nose down. Get the speed up. Do about 400 miles an hour and now let's pull, 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 pull. Now, I was worried if I pulled any less, if I pulled any more, I might black out. I think these bombs will be well short. Yeah. But, as you can tell, they went a lot further than they would have if I just dropped them right off the thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out, do a little, uh, little split S, come back this way, and sling this bomb at that, at that area there. Obviously, you're going to have to get in. Uh, this is where I would do it. You've got the, the indicator, uh, no one's going to attack you in here. 
and you can get a good chance to do it. The TA is here for a reason. It's, it's here to get you practice and come in here. I come in here a lot, to be honest with you. I come in here and just dink around and fly around at low level. And uh, and I enjoy doing it. It's something I like to do, just come in here and, and just fart around and answer questions and stuff. So we're going to try it from here. Now, you go, well, now, Voodoo, where do I release that? Well, you have to kind of have a mental picture in your head of where the terrain is at. Now, this one should be short. I think it might make it to that first, not the first road, but the, not the square road, but the curved road there. Yeah, see. I was a little bit to the right. That meant my, see how it made it to the right? It, I, my slip indicator, I was actually a little bit to the, well, the hell with you too. I was a little bit to the right, or my aircraft was moving a little bit right, and so that's where that bomb went that way. That's another thing, too, is a lot of people, whenever they're talking about dive bombs, making sure that you're, you know, level bubble, or center bubble, and that's here on your, uh, your turn bank indicator, and this, when they're talking about center bubble, they're talking about having this bubble here between these two white lines here, and then no, uh, you don't want any slip like that, so you can see I'm kind of banking, I'm kind of moving to the right, my nose is kind of moving to the right. That's a little bit of right rudder. You can see that the, the bubble's out to the left. So as I center up, the bubble should come back in. And uh, and so what you, as you come through here to make your pull, and you're wanting to make, make it. Now the lower you are, the harder you're probably going to have to pull to get it to sling the same distance. And the higher you're going to need to release it from. So I'm wanting to get it to that center town again. So, and I'll probably walk you through this here in just a second. So, I'm going to pull and release, probably about there. Now, what you're thinking about is you're going, okay, I'm starting to make my pull. Now, think about this indicator. As it drifts underneath you, you have to think about what's passing underneath your nose. And visualize the, the object you're attempting to bomb. And you want to go, okay. If I'm pulling and there's no airplane here in front of me, how far do I have to pull until that crosser should be crossing that target? And this is just a game of memory. As I pull around here, and I'll be looking for my indicator, I have it there. And as I come across here, obviously the indicator drops under my nose, but let's visualize it. One, two, three, and release. See, it actually kind of tried to trick me. Because as I started to pull, the indicator dropped further and further under my nose. So now I can't even see the indicator. Now I have to guess, guesstimate where that bomb is actually going to be falling towards. And then I have turning bank and any other factors that may be affecting my aircraft. So you've lost a wing and you're trying to sling it like that or anything else. So let's try it from low level. We'll go with the 47 again. Uh, but this time we'll take off uh, on the deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pitch out away from here, and I'm going to come back at this, uh, this target that's back behind us. Almost kind of like a low level. I'm going to try to hit one of those buildings with the stacks there off of it. First thing I'm going to do is go Salvo 1. And if you don't know what the Salvo is, then uh, there's a command. I think it's, hold on just a moment, dot help. Just a minute. I know I know this. Oh, actually, it is dot help. See, I do know what I'm talking about sometimes. <laughs> if you type in dot help, uh, it'll tell you every dot command in the game. And dot salvo, there's some of these I, I don't even think I've messed with before. There's all sorts of business in here. But that's for another time. But dot salvo, uh, you type in dot, well, you have to actually be able to type it first. Hold on. Enter. No. Why are you doing this to me? I need this and then this. Okay. And dot salvo. And then the number. It can be 1 to 10 or how many ever bombs you got. If you got 20 bombs, you can hit 20 and it'll drop all 20 bombs at one time. If you have one, just one. 
Uh, typically I set it for two because I fire off my rockets two at a time. I pick them and then I shoot. I drop one bomb and then two bombs because uh, I don't want to throw my aircraft. Aircraft. Lord have mercy. I don't want to throw my aircraft off as I come through the area. Now I've done something here. Something is going on with my... There we go. Get to low level a bit here. Alright, so we're going to come in here. Make a serious dive. And... Release. I think this one's going to be far. I, I definitely do, because I think I was going too fast. Let's take a look here and see what it does. Definitely far. But it still probably would have blown something up over there. So if you got a town or something like that, you could probably probably do pretty good. And if you get a little bit of practice, you you get pretty close, especially if you throw in thousand pounders. And I'd throw in five hundred pounders, so I mean that would have been close enough to blow up that building. Now for whatever reason the buildings don't blow up in here, but uh that would have been close enough to have destroyed that building there. So let's uh, we'll come in and try it again here. We're gonna try it from an NOE approach though. We'll do make a little turn here and then uh, try it like you're coming in NOE and you want to sling these bombs just before you get into a fight. Now, whenever you're at low level, you got to make sure that you don't. Uh, Try to blow yourself up or anything. Now let's go. Not bad. A little bit further than I wanted. Actually, that was what I was aiming at, though. Was, uh, the two smokestacks for the from me on the main service right there. Let's try it again. Visualizing your target is very important. You want to come in and see what you're trying to hit at. Pick something that's important. Go, that looks, that's what I want to focus on. That's my reference with the ground. And as you make your approach, keep your eyes on that target. Now, don't stay fixated on it. If you have to change targets, change targets. Don't go, that's my target. i got to stick with it. No. If something happens and you have to change targets, then pick something else. Something that stands out to your eye. Something that you'll visualize. So we're going to come in, and I'm just aiming for those stacks of it. So I see that there's trees there, so I'm going to make my pull just before the trees. And I'm going to release that point. You actually see the bomb going there. Come on, baby, roll, roll, roll. Not bad. I mean, it's still pretty close for just throwing a freaking bomb out across there. Well, I know this isn't a whole heck of a lot, but this gives you a little bit of an idea of how you should kind of go about it. The biggest thing is, is picking an aircraft and getting used to a, a bomb. The bomb weight, obviously, is important. The lighter the bomb, the further you can chuck it with less pull. The heavier the bomb, the more pull you need. In addition, it's going to be harder for your aircraft to make really wild pulls with that. So you're going to have to get your range adjusted correctly. And as those parameters change, obviously the bomb landing point is going to be different. You want to start with something very large first and probably work on hitting individual buildings in a town if you want to do practice like that. Um, I would probably practice on hitting a town till you can get it zero to an area and then work on hitting individual buildings when you go to bomb something. Then you can start to work or, or carry a thousand pounders and, and go straight to trying to hit GVs. If you can hit a GV slinging a bomb from one of these aircraft, then hell, you can hit a whole a lot of business, even a CV. Well, I hope that this video has helped you out a little bit. And if you have any additional questions, comment below. Uh, rate, subscribe, and tell your friends. Uh, also, down in the description, there will be the link to my Facebook page. You can get me there 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Send me a message. I got it on my phone. I'll pick it up and uh, I can bang out any questions you have with you. Well, I'll turn you guys loose. And uh, good luck out there doing your bomb slinging stuff.